Are you at a place where God wants you to be? Are you experiencing the acts of God in your life? There is always a place God is taking you to. There is a place where God is making ways for you. You might not know this, but there is a plan for you. Your journey with God is always made better when you walk with the Lord wholeheartedly. When you do the will of the Lord and obey the instructions that God has given to you. If God says go there, it is your duty to obey that voice and go there. God says, do not say that word you want to say. Do not make that friendship you are planning to make. If you follow the instructions, if you deliberately obey the words of the Lord, then you will see that your journey with the Lord will become something great. It will become something interesting. It will become something amazing because the power of the Lord will always make things work for you and take you to that place of destiny and success that you have always wanted to be. But if you do not follow instructions, if you do not obey the commands of the Lord, then you should know that the Lord is always a sovereign God. He has the power to create and to destroy. He has the power to build, put up and keep something going well. And God still has the sovereign power to make things go wrong and bring it down. He is the almighty God. He is unquestionable in all things. That is the reason you do not need to make mistakes in following God. Love God and obey the instructions and commands that He has given you. Then you will see that the plans the Lord has for you will be unfolded. You will see that the things God wants to be in your life will really be without any distractions and anything stopping it. God is going to take you to the place of your blessing and favor you to have all the things that you have always been asking from the Lord. You will always see how the Lord will give your life that blessing to people and greatly impactful in the life of those that are with you and always trust in God to bless them too. God will take you to that place where you will get all things to yourself and will need nothing because you will receive and have everything from the Lord. You will have all that you need to live a good life. You will have comfort and company of great friends and all the amazing things that make life interesting because the Lord plans to take you to your promised land. It is the desire of the Lord to lift you to the top and bless you. The Lord plans to give you all the powers that will make all things possible for you. That is it. God's plan for you is to give you the fullness of His Spirit and when you receive the Spirit of the Lord, then you have the power to make your life amazing and good, to make your powerful and do many powerful things. God's plan for you is to make you the head and make you leader over the nation. God's plan is for you to be among those that will make His will to come to pass. You have to know the plans of the Lord for your life because they are great plans. They are beautiful plans. They are big plans and nothing is as good as living your life in the plans of the Lord. Jeremiah 29 verse 11 For I know the thoughts and plans that I have for you, says the Lord thoughts and plans for welfare and peace and not for evil to give you hope in your final outcome. God is working out something good 
to ensure that you get to the promised land of your life. God is doing it for you. God is playing it out. God is using people to bring his plans for your life into reality. God is planning something massive for you so that he will take you to your promised land so that you reach your destination in life so that you will get to the top and become all that he wants you to become. You do not have to be afraid. You do not have to faint in your heart. All you have to do is to trust God as you live your everyday life following God and loving the things that he means to you. Believe in the Lord that he will give you exceedingly abundantly and above all that you want and need from him. Look up to the Lord and have your hope on him that he will take you to your promised land. There is a place God is taking you to. There is a place. You have to be according to the plans of the Lord. There is a place God has prepared for you. And that is the same place He is taking you to. God is not delighted in seeing you on the ground when He is planning to put you up to the top. God is not happy that you are not making progress in your life while He has given you all the things that will make you go forward and progress in life. God desires to see you making it and having all that you desired for. God desires is that you are out of the pit and help out of that trouble. God desires that you have all the power that will put every force of life under your feet. God has given you all authority. God has given you all the power to dominate and win every battle. And you have the name of Jesus working for you. You must know that there are no impossibilities in the things God has for you. There are no hindrances to the moves of the Lord. Whatever the Lord says, he will do for you. That is what he will do. Nothing can stop the Lord for your life. Nothing can take away your joy when God has given you that joy and happiness. God has promised it. Then it is going to be like that. The promised land is where God is taking you to. Good health, wealth and riches influence and affluence, power and dominion. These are the things God has promised to give you and they are all that you will receive from the Lord. The promise to give the children of Israel a place of comfort had always been the desire and the plan of the Lord. He promised Abraham, Isaac and also Jacob and he did it. At the present things may not be like God is doing some. Things may become more tougher by the day. God may promise you to take you to that financial freedom. And since he has promised that things have not improved, things have not changed, nothing to show for it, and that does not mean the words the Lord have failed. That does not mean the Lord has disappointed you. But you have to know that sorrow may tarry for the night, but joy comes in the morning. There is always a morning for you when your joy will have to end, when your joy will flow with great force that you will not know how to express it. Even when God has promised the children of Israel a land flowing with milk and honey, they were still in slavery in Egypt. They are still suffering in Egypt and they were still marginalized and treated badly in Egypt. 
But the time came when God wanted to deliver them from where they were to where He, the Lord, wanted to take them to. God took them to that place He has promised them, to that land flowing with milk and with honey. God fought the battles for them. This is what the Lord is planning to do for you. Nothing can stop what the Lord is planning to do for you. Nothing can make what God has in mind for you not to come to pass. Though it may delay, it may not come the way you think, but the promises of the Lord are perfect and great for you. He is planning to take you to the promised land and you are getting there. You are reaching it. You are becoming that blessing and you are becoming the favored person. You must learn to believe in the words of the Lord for your life, no matter how difficult you think it sounds, no matter how impossible you think it is becoming. You have to believe the word of God. If God says you are going international, then believe God. That idea you have may be little now, but God is saying your ideas will go international. It is going to countries of the world. If God says you are going to become the head of the nation, why not believe it? Have you ever seen the words of the Lord fail before? No, it cannot fail. And in your life, whatever the Lord says can never be void because it will always come to pass. Trust God that he will do his word. Trust him and believe God that he will uphold you to the place of your destiny. There is nothing God cannot do for you. Never doubt God. Never limit Him in your plans and your thoughts. If God says you are going international, do not limit your plans only to your local domain. Expand your horizon. Make your plans wide and big. Plan big too because what God has in store for you are very big and great. They are bigger than you think they are, larger than you can imagine. It is inexhaustible. Make yourself available for the plans of the Lord to come to reality in your life. Make God know you are willing because God cannot give you what you are not ready to receive. God cannot take you to the position you are not ready and prepared to attain. This is the reason you have to make sure you put yourself in that great position that will make you align with what the Lord is doing per time for you. God is making it work. That impossible dream and future God is quickening it and making it work by the power that makes things work. You are not alone because God is really with you. God is blessing you and taking you to that promised land and your life will be accomplished at the end of the journey here on earth.